Oh, I am Trey Ratcliffe. Welcome to my quick review here about uh, ScreenFlow. It's also a little bit of a how-to, just to show you how easy and fun it is. So I use ScreenFlow for two things, and the second one is kind of unexpected. Uh, the first way I use it is to make tutorials, right? I use it to make uh, tutorials. We have our own product called Aurora HDR. It's like a photo editing software, so I make quite a few tutorials with that, and it's great. But then I also use it just to edit together other videos that I make. So I'll show you both examples, okay? To me, honestly, it's easier and faster than Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. I do think those are more powerful, but 95% of the time I don't need that, right? I just want to mix together video and audio and have transitions and some text. Man, ScreenFlow is great for that too. So let's get started by showing you how to make uh, like a little tutorial kind of video. So this is one that I recorded earlier, okay? Um, this was, uh, I was showing you how to edit this, uh, this video or this photo of a tomb using Aurora HDR, okay? So usually when I start the video, I'm like, you know, I hit, I hit go and it's recording my screen and recording my video. And I'm just goofing around, I'm alt tabbing around trying to get my act together trying to get ready for the actual video. Okay, so you see the little timeline going here. You can see that I'm gonna to start to speak here pretty soon. So the top track is the audio and the bottom track is the video. You can merge them into one if you like to. I just kind of keep them side by side. Okay, here we go, watch this. Okay, good. So I'm gonna move right here. Then I'm gonna click and command click on this one. So they're both selected. Then I just hit T, that slices it. I'm gonna get rid of that stuff, hit delete, and then double click on both of these, kind of click, and then it's gonna scoot all over to the left, okay? So here we are. Okay, so now we've got it, we got it going, right? Um, I might add an opening um, fade in, right? So I can just right click and I say add starting transition here. And I might do the same right here, add starting transition. Can make it a little shorter so that clip off my voice. So now watch it will fade in. Nice. Um, let's see, I want to be a little fancy with it. Sometimes I do stuff like this, okay? So maybe I want it to be a little bit uh, here centered, right? And then I'll take my own self and I'll make myself uh, kind of centered and maybe a little bit, bit oop, grab the wrong corner there. Click here and uh, pull it up a little bit, make myself a little bit bigger. And then maybe put a little reflection on, you know, so it looks like a fancy reflection or something. So now when it starts up, it'll go, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's go to just later in it, okay? Let's just say that we get to this point. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna say T, because now it's loading, right? This is the boring part, loading, 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 I'm figuring out what the heck I'm gonna do. Okay, so then we go right here, T, T, uh, to, to cut that, right? Hit T to cut, then hit delete. Okay, then I'm gonna click here, shift click here, and I'm just gonna scoot it all over there. And now watch it, so it'll go from this. Okay, back. Um... So now, let's get a little bit more complex. Now we wanna do some zooming and some moving around and stuff like that, all right? So, um, now that I'm talking, I wanna get my big head out of the way so that you can see what I'm clicking on. Um, so, I apologize, I said something wrong earlier. I said this is audio up here, this is audio and video of me, and down here is the screen, uh, my, my desktop, right? Okay, so here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an action. Okay, we have different things up here, video, audio, text, that's about all you need, I guess. I'll show you a few others. So I'm gonna add an action here, okay, action. And then what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna shrink it down, down to the corner and put it right down here, okay? And do you see this little yellow thing right here? That's the action, so watch. Okay, back. Um, first thing I'm do. Easy, huh? So at the same time, I'm gonna click on this one, and I want this to be maximized now. So I, I'm just gonna stretch it out all the way here like this. Oop, nice and big. Oop, I forgot to say add action. See, see? See what I did there? See what I did wrong? Like a dummy? So I gotta hit add action, and then I'm gonna make it big, okay? All right, there we go. So watch this. Um, Just like that. Okay. 
Now I'm going to show you how to zoom in as I move some of the sliders. Okay, so now I'm, I'm messing up. I'm messing with this area right here. Okay, up up in the top right. So I'm going to add another action. I'm going to zoom way in, whoa, way in, whoa, like this, and then I'm going to move it around. Okay, and so now watch what happens. So now that I'm actually moving it around, I've kind of shown them the area. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay. Add action, and then actually a quick way to do is just say reset to default, and it goes back to 100%. So you can see what's happening there. Now here's another little thing you can do. You can do this thing called a callout, okay? And a callout is kind of cool because it makes that area nice and big. By default, it does a few things I don't like. For example, it makes the background a little bit more uh, faded out, right? A little shadowy in the back. I don't. Oh, I do want a shadow there. Uh, where's the thing? Oh, I don't want to blur. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't want opaque background at all. And I don't want background blurred. Okay. I want it to be nice and bright. See that? And just keep that going as long as you need it. There we go. Until I click done. There. Be right there. Cool. So see that? Easy, huh? Too easy. Great. And I think it's kind of fun, you know? Done. Cool. Oh, let me show you one other thing. This is kind of neat. This is fancy. Um, so let's go all the way back here. Actually, when this whole thing starts right here. And I am going to add this thing um, called click effect. Okay. Radar. That means every time I click on the screen, you're going to see like a little sonar ping appear. Okay. I can do other things like show keystrokes if I'm showing keystrokes all like that, which I don't do that much. But now watch, when I click on things, you're going to see a little radar appear. I want to click on crop, a little radar, right? See that? So that is just basically how easy it is, all right? Um, and then when you're done, you say file. Um, what I do, you can, you know, there's many ways to skin this cat. What I personally do is I just publish straight to YouTube, okay, and I save a copy to the disk, and I kind of choose a location. I might put it in my, whatever, my movies directory, save, and then I say next, and then I've already logged into YouTube and stuff, so I give it my little blah, 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 uh, unlisted, and it fires it right up there very quick. It renders it incredibly quick. So it's great. I just love this tool. Okay. Um, like, let's say you want to add some text. Okay. Well, by the way, you can, you can rearrange these things down here. Really simple to do. You can put this one on the bottom, that one on the top, whatever you might want to do. You can make them smaller, bigger. So let's say well, I want to add a little text here. I just go to text here and I say plus to add text. And I say, uh, this is, whoops. This is Muhammad's dream in robot. Okay, so there's my little thing, and you can, you can position it however you want. It's got nice guidelines. You can change the font size, change the font to good times. Good time. Maybe you don't want good times for a tomb, but you get the idea. You get the idea. Very easy. And then you can like right click and say, Add starting and ending transitions, right? And then it fades in, and then it'll fade out. Too easy, right? Uh, let me show you this other one I've been working on that was just for pretend. I'm going to close that. Save. So this is an example of not screencasting, but of just mixing together my own video. We're, we're launching this new show called Becoming an Artist. And... Um, uh, so I filmed like a little scene in front of my cottage there, in front of, this is my studio, and I didn't just want to have me bloviating in front of the screen for a minute and a half. So we've got all this other B-roll and stuff, so um, whatever's on top gets shown first. So I, I do my little intro here, right? And we start to fade in. The audio is still coming from below. This one did have audio. But if you look here in audio, I clicked mute audio, so it doesn't have audio anymore. 
I jammed together a few clips there. See how this is working? See how that's working? Yeah, very nice. Do, do, do. Okay, there you go. That's how it works. Um, so it's really easy just to pick up clips and move them around. You might see that here I chose to do a little transition. You can move this to zoom in and out. So here, I, because I put this kind of on top of there, it, be, it becomes a transition. It's really smart. It's just as, you, as soon as you overlap, it becomes automatically a crossfade, right? But if you don't like the crossfade, you can change it to whatever. Um, you know, they got all the different kinds of wipes, like the silly ones too. I usually just do quick cuts or cross blurs. Otherwise, it always seems a little bit crazy. Let's see what it looks like when doors are opening. Oh, I guess that wasn't so cheesy. Anyway, you get the idea. You get the idea. Put it back here how it was. Cool. All right. I guess that, that should just about explain everything, I believe. Um, if you ever want to pull in different video clips, you can actually just find them in your finder, just drag them right in there. Or you go over here to your media manager area, and you hit plus, and you can add whatever kind of you know, MP4 file or whatever you want. And then you just drag them in here and move them around, and you're good to go. Look at that. It's really, really easy and really easy and fun. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little quick review. I highly uh, recommend it. I use it all the time. Um, for really complex stuff, um, uh, I have people help me. Uh, I have an editor that helps with um, Adobe Premiere and stuff like that, but that's more of the exception than the rule. I just pretty much uh, I do everything myself, or Tane helps uh, do this kind of stuff too. He learned it in like two days. Uh, so can you. It's really fun, and I hope this little kind of review slash tutorial helps too. All right, you guys. Um, love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.